Hi guys, today I want to give you a quick overview, a uh, quick guide how to purchase an AK rifle. Uh, this is going to be uh, short and sweet in the nutshell and hopefully give you uh, some good tips for how to root out the bad AKs. First of all, uh, when I will walk into the store, I will bring with me uh, different types of the magazines to check how they are fitting in to the magazine well. So I will have a steel magazine and I'll have a Bakelite magazine, okay, and uh, of course have the polymer magazines as well. Check the fitment into the magazine well. Ask the guys, ask the salesperson first if that's okay to do with them and show them that the magazines are empty, of course, okay. Uh, but I would run the different magazines through that magazine well to make sure that everything fits nicely and there is no problem with the magazine fitment. Next, I would uh, start from the front uh, of the rifle. Basically, uh, test out the pin retention for the muzzle brake. This is a very often overlooked element and uh, later on the people have a problem with those uh, pin retentions for the muzzle brakes. They cannot move them, they are jammed or something. Check if that pin is moving, okay? Basically push it uh, back and forward, see how it is uh, performing. Next thing what you can do, just untie the muzzle break check the threads on the barrel this is very easy to do nobody should have a problem with doing it then start looking at the pins look at the pins from the front post okay go through them look check how they are looking like then move to the gas block the same kind of verify how they are looking like okay and uh, the pins should be sitting tightly uh, nothing should be sticking out you know uh, away uh, from the holes and uh, that's you know basically I uh, will raise some flags if you will see the pins suddenly sticking out more than they should uh, they should be nicely tight uh, tightly fit into the holes next we'll go uh, through the rivets and again I'm starting from front I'll go through the rivets to the back and then we'll switch from the other side but basically when looking at the rivets you want to first have a view uh, from the top just check how they are looking like they should be all nicely formed uh, rivets nothing should be you know squeezed to the was squished to the left or to the right they should be uh, very uniformly formed uh, and then look at the rivets take the rifle, take it to the uh, light source and look if you can see any light coming through the rivets. There, sh there should be no light coming through the rivets, so there should be no light between the rivet between the rivet and the receiver you shouldn't see any light and in the store it's very easy to do so you just should place the rifle like this and look at the light you know like a white background uh, very well lit so you can see if there is any light coming between the rivet and the receiver if it is there is no walk away from it okay that's another good sign but basically check all the rivets uh, look at that rivet especially this is the last rivet for the trunion uh, there is you know <laughs> a lot of a lot of force happening here on that rivet as well uh, flip it to the other side go through the rivets on the other side check the rivets if the rifle is equipped with the side rail check the rivets for the side rail okay check every rivet how they are looking like look for those gaps the gaps are really a big no-go uh, and you shouldn't even waste your time purchasing the rifle if you got you know gaps on those rivets uh, finally speaking about the rivets very often people are forgetting about the rivets for the uh, front of the trigger guard uh, again do the same test look in, into the air check you know if you have any any gaps between the rivets and the sheet metal uh, please remember this those rivets take a lot of uh, pressure uh, there is a lot of usage on them every time when you are putting the magazine to the rifle very often people don't look at them they think yeah it's just the you know uh, trigger guard rivet rivet no there that mag latch that's a lot of force working on that rivet here uh, and uh, they have to be really well done nicely made no gaps uh, nothing they should be really tight tight fit 
to the receiver everything should be tight now take a look inside of the rifle look how the rivets are formed inside the magazine well uh, if uh, they are looking you know really nicely and uh, as i said i have seen some rifles where you put in the magazine and the magazine was getting crushed by the you know incorrectly formed rivets inside the magazine well that's a big no-go again all right uh, now ask again for the permission of the salesperson if you can pop the hood pop the hood and basically disassemble the rifle that's what i would do uh, if, if they will not let you do this walk away there is no point to buy at that establishment uh, remove bolt carrier and uh, with uh, with the bolt and basically what you can do at this point look down the line look against the white background uh, hopefully they have white lit background or you know uh, something which is bright and look at down the pipe and see if you have everything aligned the rear side post uh, the gas block and of course the front post uh, if you're buying a really cheap ak let's say wasser probably not everything will be very straight uh, if you have to do some adjustments on the front post that's okay it's wasser but more you're spending for the rifle i'm expecting more and more in exchange so i really i'm taking my time uh look through the barrel uh, and see how it is all lining up uh, as i said more expensive ak i'm expecting everything to be you know straight as possible sometimes uh, even when the guys will do the good job on assembly there will be still some canted uh, sides uh, and you know that's okay because this is the way how the barrel was fit uh, into the trunion trunion uh, maybe didn't have really perfectly you know a line opening uh, for the barrel uh, so uh, some canting light canting uh, on more expensive rifles hey if it is it is but uh, it shouldn't be really nothing what is jumping out and screaming like crazy that uh, you know you cannot have uh, really badly canned sides well, let me see I have a problem there you go um, remove the remove the uh, gas tube uh, hangar to look at the, that gas block again make sure everything aligns with the rear post and like with this rifle is absolutely straight uh, on every from every angle uh, so this was a job nicely done pop the lower handguard uh, large and I will show you why you want to do that okay remove the lower handguard and uh, look inside here inside the receiver uh, very often when uh, the people are manufacturing these rifles they don't do really good job on uh, cleaning up the the receivers or preparing the receivers for the finish and you may see some rust here so this is a, a you know hidden spot check that spot inside the receiver so you can see you know literally see if they did the good job on preparing the metal for the for the finish and if it's rusting out or not and uh, basically then have a general look inside the receiver check how everything is looking like one more time go quickly over uh, these uh, rivets and uh, look at the barrel uh, you know look at the trunion check if everything is looking okay if uh, you know take a take a look at the receiver like this too this is the best way to see if the receiver is deformed in any form you know in any any uh, spot i have seen some uh, receivers on the brand new rifles from the well-known manufacturer which they were bulged on the rails and uh, yes rifle was functioning but that's how uh, you know absolutely at this point that's a no-go if you're buying a new rifle there is no excuse for it uh, look at also at the rear trunion look at those rivets how the rear trunion is positioned and how is this holding up and uh, those rivets should be really nicely formed and uh, fit tightly finally go quickly over the 
bolt carrier, uh, you know, check if everything is looking okay on the bolt carrier, how is the dovetail is looking like, uh, if uh, everything is, uh, you know, not jumping out. Uh, I have seen some new bolts which were already deformed badly on the dovetail. Eh, bolt carriers uh, deformed badly on the dovetail. Maybe that's not the best purchase to go, you know. Uh, look at the, the bolt, look if it's, you know, looking okay. Uh, and that's basically it for some basic tips on buying a case guys remember don't be afraid to have a good look at the rifle before spending your hard-earned money please let me know if you have any questions and i'll be more than happy to answer thanks for watching